Can international students study in Iceland for free? Yes, it is possible. In this video, we have to look at the intro just like we are doing now. And we are going to look at the requirements for school application in Iceland, citing one university as an example. Then we are going to look at foreign students' work in Iceland. And we are going to look at visa application process. How is the visa application process after you've gotten your admission? to this free tuition university how can you apply for your visa okay we are going to look at that then we are going to look at conclusion hi ladies and gentlemen this is promise Brenner. if you haven't subscribed make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop content and if you're excited about this content please like this video by clicking the thumbs up icon to support it okay Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now if you have a dream of moving to Iceland in order to study on a free tuition basis, you need to take the step to apply to a free tuition university. Can international students study in Iceland for free? Yes, it is possible. As an international student, whether you're coming from an EU country or from a non-EU country, you won't be charged tuition fees at Icelandic public universities, but you'll be required to pay an annual admin fee of around £454, which is not much compared to Icelandic paid universities or some universities in Europe. Can I work as a student in Iceland? Yes, but you must apply for a work permit in order to be allowed to work in Iceland. A student work permit allows you to work up to 22.5 hours per week, which is 60%, except when working is a part of your studies or takes place during a study break according to the curriculum. How much does a student earn in Iceland? Students on average earn around 1,600 ISK an hour. Now, if you have a dream of moving to Iceland in order to study on a free tuition basis, you need to take the step to apply to a free tuition university and I'm going to be using this university as an example of a university you can apply to in Iceland to study there for free on a free tuition basis okay the name of the university is the University of Iceland okay and the next application intake starts on the 12th of December and it ends on the 1st of February I believe this is a recurring application which means that every year you'll be able to apply between these dates so it's important that you, you start preparing okay start preparing so that you will be able to meet up and apply with the necessary documents i'm going to be sharing with you the requirements for applying to this university before we do that let's look at this the university of iceland does not charge tuition fees okay but the annual registration fee is seventy-five thousand. Icelandic krona, which is around approximately around $538, which is approximately around 450,000 naira, okay, if you're from Nigeria, which is approximately around 45,000 Indian rupee, okay. For others, you can check on xe.com. Now, let's look at the requirement for applying for this university. You will need an international passport, a valid international passport should be valid for at least two years but even if it's not valid up to two years still apply then if you are applying for bachelors you will need your high school diploma and transcript if your school issues transcripts if you are applying for masters you will need to provide your bachelor's degree certificate and transcript okay they should be legalized at the ministry of education of the country where you got it from some countries i think they don't require legalization probably they require apostille so whatever it is that is applicable to your country try and get it another thing that you need in order to apply for admission at this university is ielts exam now ielts exam is a form of english language exam that tests your proficiency in the english language now this is very very important okay i heard somebody who currently lives and studies in iceland for free on a free tuition basis saying these things that you need IELTS exam so it's very important to get it do what you can okay try your best to write this exam if you write this exam it won't just help you to get admission at this university it also help you in other things like scholarship applications okay there are several scholarship applications that 
you know, that requires IELTS exam. So, and this IELTS exam, I believe it is valid for like two years. So you can use it for up to like two years. So do what you can, try your possible best to get this IELTS exam because it's very important and it's a very important requirement for admission at this university, okay? Now for other application requirements, you can read it on the school website, which I'm going to be putting in the description under this video. Okay, you just go there, click on the link and you can check out all the requirements by yourself. Okay, for this video, I'm just going to list these ones. Now let's look at how to apply to this university. If you want to apply to this university, the laid down process are as follows. Okay, one thing I would like you to take note when applying to this university is that there is an application fee if you are coming from outside the european union outside the eea efta region you must pay an application fee of 8000 icelandic krona which is around uh, 48000 naira and in indian rupees is around 5000 indian rupees it is around 57 us dollars note that these are just approximations so if you want to apply to this university you have to apply through the ui communication portal there you have to choose how you identify yourself when logging into the communication portal okay so persons with an icelandic id number identify themselves by logging in via island.is this is how the ui communication portal looks like okay this is where you need to go to but then um you have to choose however you want to do it okay for those who do not have an icelandic id number you have to log in with your email address okay so if you have an icelandic number then you have to log in with this one but if you don't have then you have to use this one which i know that many of you don't have so you have to click on this login with email then put your email address then you have to put your password that is if you have an account if you don't have an account you need to come here and create an account okay then if you create an account this is how to do that you need to put your email address here put that you're not a robot confirm and follow the instructions on how you can proceed when logging in with your email address it is essential to fill in all fields correctly and rely on the information in the passport very important make sure that you enter the correct information from your passport on the portal when you are registering okay very very important very very important make sure you fill the fields correctly when you're on the application portal very important now for persons with icelandic kentala but with Lego domicile abroad, no Icelandic phone number, you need to log in with an email address. After you have registered and filled in the correct information or your correct information on the portal, then the next thing to do is to apply. Okay, to apply for a study program, you need to select new applications, programs tab, and choose options from the drop down menus or use the search box. Okay, so I'm going to put the link in the description so that you can read this by yourself. Okay, and follow the instruction to apply. Okay, now after you've applied and you've gotten admission, now there's something you need to do, which is visa. It's very important that you pay attention keenly. Okay, if you want to be successful in your visa application. Okay, I'm going to use a scenario whereby somebody is from nigeria and is applying for this visa okay but if you're from another country also pay attention because it can help you it can give you a hint on how you can do yours okay very important so let's say this person is from nigeria and he has applied for admission at this university and he has been admitted to study at this university one important thing that you need to have okay in order to apply for your visa from nigeria is proof of funds Okay, so according to the person I listened to, he said 10 million naira may get you a six months permit. And this proof of funds should be stamped. So you can check the equivalent of this 10 million naira in your currency. Okay, for example, you have to go to xe.com. Okay, just like I talked about earlier, and check the equivalent in your, in your currency so that you know how much you can plan and budget for this application. Okay. So it has to be stamped. It should be stamped. This, this proof of funds should be stamped. Very, very important. And if you want to understand how to prepare proof of funds, you want to know 
so many things about proof of funds. I have a video that I talked about proof of funds exclusively on proof of funds. Check that video after you finish watching this video so that you have a clearer picture of how to prepare proof of funds. So even if you, like, you don't have much money in your account, for example, there's a way you can also do your proof of funds. So if you want to understand how to do that, check another video that I talked about proof of funds on my channel. Okay. For visa application, your documents have to be sent to the Icelandic immigration by post. That is, you can use DHL because DHL will be faster. Okay. So I would recommend that you use DHL. Okay. You have to send your documents to the Icelandic immigration by post through DHL for visa process. Very, very important. Now, for this person from Nigeria, you have to apply for your visa via the Norwegian embassy. Okay. You apply for your visa via the Norwegian embassy. So basically, if you send your document by post to the Icelandic immigration and when they check your document and they approve it, they are going to contact the Norwegian embassy in Nigeria on your behalf and inform them that you're going there. Okay. So you have to be in touch with them so that you guys will be able to uh, know. I mean, so that you'll be able to know how to book appointment there. Probably I think they're going to book an appointment for you. Okay. So just be in touch. That's the key thing. Be in touch with them. Okay. So that you understand how it works. Okay. So basically the reason why you're sending your documents to the Icelandic immigration is in order for you to apply for your residence permits. Now, these are, these are the kind of countries whereby before you apply for your visa, right? Or before you go to the embassy, you need to apply for residence permit first you know it's not like poland poland you can just come to poland with your visa when you come to poland then you will now apply for your residence permit for iceland it's not like that they need to approve your residence permit application first then you you will now use it okay that outcome to go and apply for your visa do you understand if you don't understand anything just write it in the comment section below one thing i would like you to note is that you can move with your family if you are a master student for more information about the visa process i would encourage you to go to the website of the icelandic immigration i'll do my best to put it in the description under this video so that you just go and click on it and just visit it and you see the full picture or all the things you need to know regarding the visa process note that these things can change they are subject to change that is why Anything I'm telling you now, I would like you to go there and confirm them. Because now, if the proof of fund, if 10 million naira can get you six months permit, residence permit in Iceland, probably in the next two years or in the next uh, few months, it can change. This is why I would recommend that you go to the, um, uh, you know, to the to the website of the Icelandic immigration and check things for yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do yourself a favor by subscribing. Okay. It is for your own benefit. There are a lot of content on this channel and, you know, I drop content every week. I've been to several countries around the world. You know, if you're following me on my social media handle, you would have seen some of my posts. So, you know, do yourself a favor by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. I drop content every week. Okay. And also, if you haven't liked this video, kindly click on the like button to support this video and in order to see those uh, links i've mentioned you just need to come under this video okay and click on this more you'll see the link somewhere under this video okay and if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, okay feel free to do that the link is here you just need to come and click on the link and do the needful after you've done that take a screenshot and contact me via any of my social media handle which I would prefer Instagram, okay? You can also contact me on Facebook with a screenshot and we are going to plan and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I'm going to answer your questions. Then if you want us to handle your admission, okay? You want to study abroad. If you want us to handle your admission, then you can do that. The link is here. Do the same thing like in the other process, okay? But then I want you to note that currently we are only doing for Poland, but I am thinking of diversifying into Croatia, into lithuania slovakia you know and so on or even portugal okay so if you want us to do it for you the link is there okay but it's important for you to contact us first to know which country we are currently processing okay before you pay then if you want us to handle your cv you can do that okay by clicking on this link and do the needful and contact me via my social media handle 
and we are going to create a standard professional European CV format for you. Okay. All right. That will be it about this content. Thank you for watching. Till I come your way again. Have a great time. See you in my next video.